seven unforgettable virtual field trips that will change your homeschool in 2022. Okay, so virtual field trips are a game changer. Really, it provides an opportunity for your child to explore and to really soak up all the goodness of your lessons, your hard work of teaching, in your curriculums that might be born. So virtual field trips are perfect for when you are limited on budget, maybe. It might also be that your subject is across the world and, and you don't have time to get tickets and to fly your children all across the world. Even though we see YouTubers and everyone else doing travel school as if there's an unlimited source of funds, that's neither here nor there. Virtual field trips, will really, really bring the excitement back into your homeschool. Let me share with you these seven virtual field trips that you cannot pass up on. First up, Amazon Robotics Fulfillment Center Tour. Do you have a future engineer in your homeschool? Your student can meet Amazon engineers up close and personal and understand and explore concepts like algorithms and machine learning. It takes you behind the scenes and showing you how Amazon uses some of the best in class in terms of machine learning and robotics. They break everything down. They even have a space tour starting in October 2022. So be sure to make sure you go and register your child on their website. It's free. Register your child so that they can get a behind the scenes look on machine learning that they probably encounter every day. I know mine do when the Amazon box comes to the door. <laughs> okay, Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China is in China. I don't know about you, but I don't necessarily have the budget this year to go to every country that we study. So the Great Wall of China offers something that's really interesting. Your child can actually experience walking the Great Wall of China, explore different parts of it. It's totally controlled by them. They're able to go across 3,000 miles of the wall. It is an experience that they will not forget. So if you're studying China, if you're studying history, world history, this is an amazing opportunity for your child to explore the Great Wall of China for free. Okay, Farm Food 360. So my family, we love going to the farm. We love it. When I found this, this was amazing as well because for the days that we can't get there and if we need a specific um, tour for a particular part of what we're studying, this is my go-to. Farm Food 360. This is for your child if they're learning about farming, biology. They can take real life expeditions to farms and food processing facilities. So there's so many ways you can use this, and not just with bi biology and farming. If you're teaching culinary cooking, if you're studying cultures, they just, you can put this in, fit this in for so many different curriculums and lesson plans and unit studies. On this site, they're able to go on, tour the facility, there's additional activities, and there are questions that you can use that they provide that you can use to make sure your child is really grasping the concepts as well. So this is an amazing opportunity. Go check out Farm Food, Farm Food 360. The next one is on Homeland, it's the White House. Yes, ma'am, sir. The White House provides amazing virtual tour. My daughter is currently um, studying civics. This is perfect, perfect. Now, are we going to take a trip so that she can see it live and in person? Absolutely. But having an introduction through a virtual tour is amazing. And quite frankly, puts a little spice in it, something that might not be as interesting as I think it is for her. So the White House, you can go inside the halls of the White House and provide access, get access to public rooms on the ground and state floors. It also allows you to examine the rooms and the objects like in the room, like you really close up. So you can click on an object and kind of look around it, see what it is. It's really like you're exploring the White House inside the White House walls. It's an amazing experience. Please go check this out. The next one is Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace. So we know that there's been some you know, news around because we've had historical events happen um, with this location and this royal family. 
but it is an amazing tour for your child to really see what the palace looks like in person. So you can get an inside look, you can go in, you can tour, roam the halls. It also, I love this site because it tells you a little bit more, I'm in the United States, it tells you a little bit more about the royal family, who they are, what they believe in, what their campaigns are. Uh, so it really, really uh, provides a comprehensive uh, exploration about this particular royal family. So go find this, go check this out. This is an amazing tour as well. The Met, oh, the Metropolitan Museum is amazing. We're art family, if you cannot tell, but the Metropolitan Museum, I love this site. It allows your learner to tour the current exhibit and, and it provides activities and questions and projects for your learner to complete after the exploration. So it's almost like a complete lesson. You don't even have to really find something else to add to this. They go on to the site. They can tour it virtually, check out the exhibits like closer than they would if they were actually at the Met. And then they have activities that they can do for, by themselves or you can teach it. They have activities that you can do to really um, help bring out what they're learning and, and help make sure they understand what, they, what they're what they touring. You can pair this if you need to, you can pair this with any art curriculum, any art unit study, a culture study, history lesson. It's an amazing experience. Please go check out the Metropolitan Museum of Art. All right, last but not least, this is, this is the fun one. I think I shared this before, but you can go tour Mars, the planet. Google is amazing. First of all, you can tour the surface of Mars all on your own. So they use, they allow your child to come in as if they were exploring themselves and they use the Curiosity Rover. They can literally survey the surface of Mars. They can point and click and survey individual, whatever area they point to, they can survey it, look at it, turn it. It is amazing. It's an amazing. They'll have access to the Rover and they can control where and what it explores. So it's like they're the, the person behind the machine that's during on, on Mars and exploring Mars. So it really is an amazing experience and it gives them control through the exploration. That's what I like. Like, I don't want to just sit there and look at a YouTube video all the time. I want to be able to like interact and this blows it out of the water. So check out this Google space tour with Mars. You won't regret it. All right, I told you. I told, I gave you seven. Don't you worry, I will be back with more to put in your, in your, uh, your repertoire. <laughs> but I just wanted to share these resources. We are in this together, but these are really, really great free alternatives that you can use to supplement what you're teaching. It doesn't have to just be in the book. So I want to encourage you to look outside, think outside of the box and bring in things to really, really just illuminate your child's learning experience. I hope this video was helpful. Please check the description below because I'll have all the links there and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.